Today on Filament's Folly, we're going to paint ourselves a baby Yoda holding an egg. Let's get started. So we have our model printed here. STLs are below as a whole end in pieces. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button and let's get started. Okay, so we have the Baby Yoda here, and it's printed, so it has everything in multiple pieces to make this easier to paint. Uh, there's also one in the STL link for all as one piece, if you don't want to print it in pieces and assemble it. I think this will make it easier. Um, I went ahead and printed it with the, the ball up like that. That's why it's kind of got that one on there. And then I also have a little stand for the head. And try and do this through the camera. There we go. So it makes that all make it a little easier to, to paint. Stuff like that. I painted a Yoda earlier and the head was too close to this the outfit and it made it really hard to print on the neck area, so that's why it's got a separate head. Um and the hat printed up pretty nice. So let's go ahead and get this guy primed and go from there. Okay, so I went ahead and put that ball on a little bit of clay, and we're going to be using the same wood filler that I used in the last project because I still haven't found one I like better. If it's this way, and the link will be down below as well. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and I've already mixed it up with some water, and we're going to be using a brush and just kind of painting it on. After we're done painting this and then sanding it, we'll go ahead and prime it and paint it. Okay, so we have him sanded. I left texture down here, which I think is going to look really nice um, when it's done. It'll kind of make the fabric look a little bit like it's real fabric. And we went ahead and sanded. There's still a couple spots there, but I think I need to do a paint um, layer on him to go ahead and get that taken care of. And I like the fact that this is like separate pieces here makes this so much easier to paint. So, you know, I don't have to worry about getting into the neck, and you're just going to get a much better paint out of this. I think it's going to look cleaner and stuff like that. More like a real professional toy. So, Alright, well let's go ahead and get some coats on him and some primer and then we'll call it a night. So we got the everything painted and sanded. Made another little stand for this guy to make it easier to paint. Uh, so I think they're ready for airbrush. Now we're not going to completely airbrush. We're doing this with like the larger base coats. I would never try to airbrush Yoda, uh, Yoda's eyes here like this. It just it'd be too small for my skill. So I'm better with a brush that way. But we went ahead and mixed up all the things. We got the orange for the egg, which I know the outside of these don't quite look right because of the way the mixing is. We got red for the Christmas hat. We got green for his body and hands, face, and then we got brown for the clothes. So let's go ahead and get these loaded up in the brush and time lapse it. Okay, so we get the base coats done in a lot of these. I'm really happy with most of them. Uh, something happened with my airbrush on the hat and it was just kind of sputtering, but I'll fix that. I was going to hand paint a lot of the stuff anyway afterward. This is more base coat stuff, but I'm really happy with the base coat now. So let's go ahead and get on to the detail and see how it's coming along. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and start painting the details on these and just going to do a time lapse.
so I've done most of the base coat now at the, on this guys. Uh, it didn't take too terribly long. I still want to kind of go in for some more highlights maybe in the face and the eyes of, of him and then do a little more highlighting on maybe the base here once it dries but it looks it's looking pretty good and I gotta do another coat of white on the brim but other than that he is done so I'm gonna go ahead and let this dry completely do another base coat on this and then we'll go on to assembly which should be pretty easy okay so I've got him pretty happy I know his inside of his arms aren't really painted but that's where the sphere is going so let's go ahead and Go, uh, I'm not going to glue him just yet, but let's go ahead and assemble him, make sure he looks good. Okay, and I went ahead and put a clear coat kind of on here to make it look a little slick. Same stuff we used on the snail, actually, and it's mainly dry. So let's see if I can get this in there without ruining it. Awesome, so I've ruined it. And I will go back and paint that with hand. I was afraid of that. So we'll just hand paint those little spots and then fix it up. Yay. So we went ahead and fixed up that spot in the egg, and I think it looks great. I also went ahead and printed up a friend and painted him in pure Christmas colors with a nice golden orb. The links are below for both the whole piece and it in pieces like I have it here. And I know I didn't show it here, but if you loop a piece of string or a ribbon through the back of his hat, you can hang this from a branch for a Christmas ornament. Go ahead and like this video and subscribe for future projects. we got a lot of cool stuff coming up. And if you go ahead and make this, don't forget to go ahead and post make photos. I love seeing those. Thank you so much for watching and have a happy holidays and a great Thanksgiving.